So, are aliens murdering people? This is crazy. But this information is coming from uh, Jacques Vallée and also John Keel. So, uh, let's talk about this because this is disturbing and fascinating. Get in here. This is Jack Connor with Cosmic Road. I talk about UFOs and the paranormal. Please hit like. Please subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified of future videos. Uh, please share this video when it drops on social media. That'd be super helpful. And comment below as I'm going through the story. So, uh, yeah, let me uh, click over here. This is a Twitter thread from Joe Mergia. Um, uh, from Keel's, from John Keel's book, uh, he's quoting, uh, he, or there, there's a quote from John Keel in his book, Passport to Magonia, Jock Vallée, a NASA astronomer and computer expert, touches on all this. In the Soviet Union not so long ago, a leading plasma physicist died in strange circumstances, Dr. Vallée states. He was thrown under a Moscow subway train by a mentally deranged woman. It is noteworthy that she claimed a voice from space had given her orders to kill that particular man. Orders she could not resist. Soviet criminologists, I have been reliably informed, are worried by the increase of such cases in recent years. Madmen rushing through the, the streets because they think the Martians are after them have always been commonplace, but the current wave of mental imbalance that can be specifically tied to the rise and development of the contactee myth, quote unquote, uh, I'm, I'm applying the quote to myth, uh, is an aspect of the UFO problem that must be considered with special care. So let me repeat that the current wave of mental imbalance that can be specifically tied to the rise and development of the contactee myth is an aspect of the UFO problem that must be considered with special care. Yeah, that, I mean, I would think so, right? I and mean, if that is a thing, if um, murders are on the rise attributed to voices from space, are they really voices from space? Or are they, uh, you know, uh, just a form of mania or, or whatever you want to call it? And people are picking up on, you know, the zeitgeist or the, you know, the UFO um, information in the air. You know, good question. So Keel, John Keel says, and let's see, I want to get the name of the book, Operation Trojan Horse. I need to read that. Uh, John Keel says, of, you know, he references that story by Jock Vallée, and then he says, so there seem to be both good and evil forces at work in this type of phenomenon. The good guys latch on to people with particularly receptive minds and turn them into trance mediums. The bad guys use the same methods to tamper with the, mi the minds of contactees and even to commit murders indirectly. Because incidents of these types can be traced throughout history, it seems probable that these forces have always been extant on this planet. Um, yeah, so yeah, Keel says, good and evil forces in this phenomenon. I, you know, are they aliens? Are they ultra-terrestrials? You know, that's, uh, you know, John Keel is famous for you know, kind of doing the Jacques Vallée thing of blurring the lines on what exactly the phenomenon represents. And I love that because I think there's a lot of truth to that. Um, yeah, I mean, it was uh, the great experiencer from Australia. His name is on the tip of my tongue. Uh, and uh, he said the only the bottom third, the, bo the bottom 10% of the phenomenon was nuts and bolts craft from other worlds. Uh, the bulk of it is the weird stuff, uh, extra dimensional, whatever, whatever it is. So, um, but continuing, um, John Keel writes, when the good guys work through mediums, they needed some excuse that we would accept. The answer seemed to be communication with the dead. These communicative efforts led to the foundation of spiritualism and the entities played the role to a hilt using their complete knowledge of us in our indiv individual lives 
to provide us with proof of the existence of a spirit world. This is the same precise methodology being employed with the UFOs to build up support for the extraterrestrial thesis. We humans need acceptance, acceptable explanations for the unnatural phenomena, so they happily and often humorously supply us with all the explanations we can handle. At the same time, they give us tiny fragments of the real truth, hoping no doubt that we will be able to digest them slowly, ever so slowly. But continuing, in earlier times, it seems as if they made a complicated attempt to convey the truth to us through mediums and psychics, but we chose to misinterpret these efforts and we placed them within the context of our primitive religious beliefs. We are still doing this and they are going along with it because even misinterpreted communication is better than no communication at all. Religion may not be truth, but may merely be a step on the long path of the real truth. Uh, yeah, so, you know, that's, that's, that's a fascinating take by John Keel. You know, I, I don't believe he claims to understand the phenomenon or know what it represents. Uh, and I really like that about John. And uh, he's a very, um, you know, he thinks outside the box, just like John, Jacques Vallée. And it's kind of funny to have him quoting Jacques Vallée. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Um, but so the idea that beings could be causing uh, murders. Because in this, this section, he's talking about them manipulating human beings. The, there's good ones and you know, the good ones are uh, working through mediums, mediums and etc., to uh, stimulate our, our interest in our belief in the spiritual or the metaphysical. Uh, he seemed to be suggesting they were manipulating us into that. And perhaps what he meant was the religious stuff. Um, and I think some of that could be true. But he says the bad ones, and I don't want to misquote him, the bad guys use the same methods to tamper with the minds of contactees and even to commit murders indirectly. Because incidents of these types can be traced throughout history, it seems probable these forces have always been extant on this planet. So, um, yeah, so John Keel is saying that beings, whatever they are, um, ultra-terrestrials, extra-dimensionals, aliens, wh whatever they are, are uh, messing with people's minds and causing them to commit murders indirectly. Why would they be doing this? Is this a louche thing that people are, are beings are feeding on misery and pain? Is, is that kind of what he's getting at? Are they just tricksters that delight on mayhem? You know, gin type tricksters that just like to mess things up uh, and cause trouble? Is that what he's getting at? I would like to know, you know, where he's getting this information from. I, I may have to read that, this book. Operation Trojan Horse. Uh, if anybody here has read the book, I'll be really, really curious to know your thoughts on it. Um, to uh, continue with the uh, the thread here, um, uh, somebody says, when I first discovered Keel via Mothman, I thought he wasn't really a UFO guy. My bad, he was so far ahead of his time. Even today, we're still dissecting his books and coming to terms with his thoughts and concepts. Concepts, Absolutely. Um, everyone talks about UFOs, but nobody has proof that you are, that you people are the best storytellers in the world. Okay, well, I'm totally good. Uh, well, I think that is a really interesting uh, phenomenon if indeed there are a series of murders being conducted attributed to voices from space or the like. And if that phenomenon is on the rise, that's especially troubling. Anyway, I just found this uh, a fascinating Twitter thread and I wanted to share it with you guys. I'll link to it in the description below. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, are aliens actually influencing people? You know, not even aliens, also terrestrials, other dimensionals, whatever they are. Uh, are they influencing some people to commit murder? I mean, that is wild. That is very alarming if that's true. And if, uh, 
this information from Jacques Vallée is true, that those incidents are actually on the rise, I mean, that is super alarming. So, you know, I, I, I hope that's not the case. Um, but yeah, again, I just, I, I thought this was really interesting. We have Jacques, Jacques Vallée and John Keel both talking about aliens indirectly murdering people. Um, so I, I had to bring that to you and get your thoughts on it. So please let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Please hit subscribe and the bell to be notified of future videos. Uh, please share this video on social media. That'd be super helpful. Please consider becoming a channel member to support the channel. See the first line in the description below. Uh, until next time, this is Jack with Cosmic Road signing out.